Hello everyone, I'm Chris Parker with ParkerPhotographic.com and today I want to show you how to remove anything in Lightroom and we're going to take a look at three different images so I can share with you some tricks and tips in order to get the most out of your photo editing tools so you can remove anything in Lightroom. And we're going to start off with this image right here. And what I like to do sometimes when I'm editing my photos is I like to remove any type of distractions that take away from the main subjects in this case these two hummingbirds. So in the background, we have these flowers, which are very busy and this bright branch in the background. So we can remove those in Lightroom without the need of Photoshop with the photo editing tools that are built into Lightroom. So if we come over to the toolbar here and click on this Band-Aid icon, that's going to reveal the three photo editing tools that will help you remove anything in Lightroom. So the first one is Content Aware Remove. Next, we have Heal and then Clone. So each one of these will remove anything in Lightroom slightly differently from the other. So if you're not getting the results you want from one, you can try another. However, I find the Content Aware Remove tool works 90% of the time. And I'm gonna share some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Content Aware so you can remove anything in Lightroom. I hardly ever find myself switching over to one of these other tools. Once you know the tricks to using the Content Aware tool, you'll probably won't be using these either. So let's go ahead and start off with these flowers here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint over the flowers to tell Lightroom this is the target area that needs to be retouched. And then it's going to analyze the pixels, textures, colors, and the other parts of the image or the rest of the image. And it's going to try and find the best match to cover up the flower. So once I release, it's going to start analyzing and it doesn't take long for it to find those pixels to remove the flowers. How cool is that? I love it. Now, like I said, it's not perfect. It looks like it's picking up a part of the branch maybe from over here. So we just need to go over that area one more time and maybe down here as well. And looks like I need to do one more click right here as well. So you need to go over that area two, three, sometimes more in order to get the results that you want. All right, so now let's try and get rid of this branch and I'm gonna try and do this in one brush stroke. All right, so the branch is gone. However, there looks like there's a little bit of an edge here where that branch used to be. So again, I can come in here and add additional brush strokes along this edge, either in one brush stroke or multiple brush strokes, which sometimes tends to work out better versus trying to do it all at once. Now there's a couple of other things you can do if you're not getting the results that you want. So I'm gonna show all of those brush strokes by pressing the letter H, because let's say I want to delete all of these and start over. Well, you can click on one of these icons to select that brush stroke, and then you can press your delete or backspace key to get rid of that brush stroke. But let's say you wanna get rid of all of them, which I do in this case. Well, if you hold down your alt or option key, you're gonna get your scissors tool, and then you can click and drag around them in order to delete all of them at the same time. So like I mentioned before, you may want to try and apply your edits in smaller sections of that element to get the results that you want. So I'm gonna press H again to hide them, and then I can continue working in smaller sections of the branch. Now there's another thing that you can do to kind of help Lightroom retouch your image, and that is to give it a little bit of help. So instead of relying on Lightroom to pick out the colors and textures in your image, you can give Lightroom a specific target. For example, maybe we want to target this area of the image to cover up this part of the image. If you take a look at your tool panel here, you can see a little message down here that says Command plus drag on the photo to select a custom source. So you can hold down your Command or Control key and it's going to switch to a different tool, which will allow you to then click and drag out an area to target, so Lightroom will then analyze the pixels inside of this box to cover up that last brush stroke. So sometimes that will give you better results. All right, so this is gonna take several more strokes in order to get rid of that branch, but I think you know how it works now. So let's take a look at another image. So let's see if we can use Content Aware to remove blemishes. So I'm going to resize my brush size here, and I'm doing that with the scroll wheel on my mouse and I'm gonna make that brush size just a little bit larger than this blemish right here. 
And because it's kind of round, all I have to do is click once and it will magically disappear. All right, now let's see if we can get rid of this little stray hair here. I'm gonna go ahead and paint over the hair just like so, and then Lightroom should magically remove it. All right, so that was a pretty easy edit as well. Let's see if we can do this large blemish here and let's see if Lightroom can get rid of this more complex type of blemish. And let's see. And boom, it's gone. Now remember, again, sometimes you may need to click in the area a couple of times to help blend in those pixels. All right, now let's check out the last image here. And I want to get rid of the bald eagle this time. So if I use a small brush stroke around the eagle with a background like this, it's going to create some feathering around that area and it's not going to completely remove the bald eagle. So in this case, I need to use a very large brush and select a lot of the background with the bald eagle to eliminate that feathering that could occur. So I'm going to create a big brush stroke like this. And once I release, it should remove the bald eagle. All right, so the eagle is gone, but the ghost of the eagle is still there. So why is this happening? Why do I have a ghost of the eagle? Well, to find out why and how to avoid this, because if you're having this problem of ghosting, you're going to want to watch this video next in order to learn how to eliminate ghosting with retouching.